everybody, welcome back. I'm your man, Van Chad and Queen Joins on the camera. I have Aaron from the Lead Kings helping, and I have Kenny that owns the car that's going to help. Uh, Brandon is the one who set it up. Uh, we're going to be cutting the roof off the car today. I've changed my mind on a lot of it. Uh, this part here, I'm going to keep the same. We're going to take this piece out. We're going to cut that down around there. When that comes down, that's going to slide down in, in that behind that. On this section here, uh, I've asked Kenny and he's decided that he doesn't mind if we get rid of the hinge because I think it'll make it look a little cleaner when the car comes down if we get rid of that. So we're going to disregard that part because we're going to try to get that hinge out of there just to clean it up a little bit. It makes sense to me. On the front piece, I'm going to disregard that. And the reason I'm going to disregard that because this is the reason. If I cut this out, i got to weld that back together there. When it comes down, it's not going to fit because it's on an angle. So instead of cutting it here, welding it back together, cutting it there and cutting it there, that's three cuts that we'd have to make that fit. We're just going to cut well, this well, off, pull the post, it, pull that off, one. we'll cut the post off, now cut that off one. there. We'll put the post back in after, so then it'll be two cuts instead of three. So I'm just trying to clean it up a little bit. Uh, I think it makes sense. Basically, I'm playing a game of checkers with the car, and I, I want to make the right move to make do the nicest job. Uh, yesterday, we decided that we were going to slide this down in, so we did not weld it across the roof here to clean it up a little bit, and we don't have to cut the back window out. So the less cuts, the better job I think it'll make. Um, basically, we're just going to get cutting it off, and that's going to be the end of it. So we'll cut it off, and uh, we'll go from there. Um, I'm going to, we're getting, we're just, I'm just going to, yeah, okay. I, I better use the same tape, yeah, just in case. Oh, okay. All right. Give it to him. Thank you. Good job, Kenny. I'm just going to check something out before we start cutting. I want to see the... We're just gonna cut it right across there or on top of the hinge. I think that'll be fine. We'll do that with the reciprocator saw. But basically what I want to see is What's that? Sorry. I would say that that hinge pretty well is perfectly that size. We'll just run a piece of yellow tape underneath that and then we'll we should be fine. our new cut. Let's I'm take sure this off. Guys in the back. Did not measure it. I'm just using tape. Not really, but like those guys should just stay. And I'm hoping the, the tape does not lie. Kenny has sanded the car really nice because the tape's not pulling the paint off. Good job, Kenny. Huh? Alrighty. Set that right there. Always use safety glasses when you're doing something like this. Cool. Cool. We got a reciprocator saw, we got the grinder, whatever I want to go with first, eh? Yeah. All right, I'll, I'll do. Off. Do I want you to cut the door off? Uh, you can cut the door off, sure you can. If you want to cut it off first, you want to do the door top first. Yeah, we can do that. Easy and simple, we'll go around the front. Yeah, we'll go. I want to get this out of the way. Are you nervous, Kenny? Not at all. <laughs> good man, good man.
reason why it's probably taking a little bit of time is because I'm probably cutting the hinge a little bit, you know what I'm saying? So it's just taking a little time. Also, with something like this, it's nice to let the saw blade do the work so you're not jamming it and stuff, and it probably will jam, but it is what it is. Yay! <laughs> I might. <laughs> when I when I first bought my or first bought the house that we live in, uh, the, the gentleman that worked there I don't know if I'll call him a gentleman or not, but Bud Fields is a friend of mine. He said, "Boy, he said you're allowed to change anytime you want to," and and I said, "Okay, thank you very much. I appreciate it." He probably told me that because probably I did need to change. <laughs> so what I'm going to do, I'm going to get rid of that. Like I said before, if I cut it, if I cut it here, that means I got to weld it back together there. With it leaning like that, I'm thinking that I'd have to relief it somewhere, probably top and bottom to make it come together. Instead of cutting it here and welding it back together, I might as well just cut the post out. So I got one weld mark down here, one weld mark down there. If I do that, then I got three. So I'm going to checker it up a little bit and and make two instead of three cuts. And the reason being, you can see that post has got to lean there. If we were doing a Model A, it would just, you just cut it off and bring it straight back down. But when we cut it off here, it's not going to come back together even because this post has come like this. It's going to be shorter and it's not going to come back together, right? And we can't weld it back together like that. We want to, we're going to just pull that post out and then we'll put the post in right and then we'll put the top of the door back in right. So I've changed my mind on this this part too. I'm glad we didn't cut it yesterday. I'm going to use a zip cut on the bottom of uh, on the bottom of the door to start my line with. Uh, we're gonna, we don't want any sparks to hit anybody, so we're going to throw a. I'm not Ready sure if up. I can. Ready? Yeah. We're going to put the curtain up, people. All right. Um, Grab this. Just one. Grab this one. We'll see where the sparks go, and then we'll put the screen yeah. where it's got to go. Uh, where do I want to cut that? back till he's ready so people can see you're probably gonna ask why I'm cutting it on an angle this is what I'm thinking in my brain if I cut it on an angle when I cut this post off I, I didn't want to cut the post off up here and then put the po try to lean the post back I want to cut the post in here down where the windshield post is so when I bring that back it's completely straight. If I angle it, I don't, want, I don't want to get into this corner. If I cut this corner off, I don't want to get into that corner and move anything. I'm angling it like this because I want, if, when I put this piece back in, this is going to go right down to the bottom of that post so I can angle it back with this perfectly. If I cut it down here in this round part, then i got to try to make something there if I put this back on. But if I get down to that part there, then I can make this line straight with this line because this whole post is being moved so that's why I'm making an angle I hope I explained that right but or that's what's going through my brain I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing but I'm going to cut it off Kenny
so I can hold the door when it's ready to come off. You want to hold the top of the door? Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. That's why yeah. I got him to grab the screen. Just maybe hold up on it. That wasn't so bad. No. <laughs> Too late so, now. As soon as he stops cutting, you know what everybody can see. Oh. Yeah, let's cut. I'm gonna cut. I might as well cut this off. What's that? I'm, I'm gonna cut that line there and just go right around to the other side and start cutting. Or maybe I should just go to the other side and cut. I think we should go on the side and cut okay. we did that on right. the side. Let's do here. it. You gonna dance? Yep. So we're just gonna do the exact same thing we did to this side as do the same thing on the other side as we did to this side. one step ahead of you. <laughs> <laughs> that should be hard today. Yeah, right. Can't see both sides at the same time, can you? You want me to bring the other uh, door post over, kind of get the same angle? Yeah, should that be great. Thank you for the idea. Started with the zip? Yep.
think I stay out of that curve, probably right there somewhere, probably be the best if I stay the fuck out of that, yeah. just above that thing there. Maybe we should tackle the centers first, so it's still supported front and back. You mean, cut, you mean cut this off? Yeah, like cut that right out, whatever we're cutting out. Well, I'm just, I'll just cut that off after we pull the okay. roof off, because it's oh, all right. standing still. Okay, um, you want to do the front first? Yeah, I think, I think what we'll do is we'll do that. I'm just going to, when I cut the, when I cut this post off here, I'm going to cut it off just below where it's, the curve is. I don't want to get into the curve, so I want to cut where it's straight, I think. Go ahead, Kenny, come on over. Any, what, what would you like? Oh, nothing. I was just uh, counting yeah, some bodies. <laughs> the roof comes off. Yeah. yeah. So I'm just kind of playing the game where I want to cut it off. I don't want to cut it off where there's where there's curvature, I don't think, because I want to cut a little bit off each end. Maybe what we'll do is we'll cut it off the bottom. Maybe what I'll do is I'll cut it off up here. We'll cut, and then we can put it right back on there, and we'll take and we'll we'll take it off the bottom. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like we'll take it off the any that we need to take off. We'll take it off the bottom. Okay. And I think just because we'll take it off of the drip rail because we just put it right back on the drip rail, right back on right there. You know what I mean? Sure. I'm just thinking to myself, like out loud. Let's do it that way. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pick right underneath the drip rail. It's gonna get into the round part a little bit, but when I take this post out and cut it, like cut this post off, we'll take the length off the bottom instead of here. So we'll weld that back on and put this back on here after. Alrighty, made the decision, I guess. Metal, we can weld it back yeah, I'm, I just well, I just want to make sure I got the right yeah. cut. So yeah, that's I, all. I agree with up here because it, this will stay the same yeah. as that. Yeah. And then down we'll, here, we'll, we'll deal we'll with take that. Take off what we got on the bottom. I'm gonna go just below the drip rail. What do you think? Yep. <laughs> go. up just on that just a little bit so yep. it don't jam me up. Doesn't pinch. Yeah. He, he's just holding up on it because when it pinches it then it'll jam. <laughs> Off to the other side. Yep. Hold on, hold on. Sure. Change your mind, Kenny? Excellent. <laughs> We're leaving this part on and we're leaving oh, whatever we're going to cut off on the car because once the roof comes off the car will hold that and cut that off so I'm just going to continue on cutting off the top we'll cut this off after I should cut that with a zip cut thank you we gotta get a screen over okay it starts to go that way anyways
hold up just right here. Just hold up on that. Thank you. Yep. Does make a difference. Are we in there? Should I get in there with the zip cut? Am I that close? I know what this saws off. You keep this yeah. right against it, pushed hard yeah. against it. Probably we'll better. Back yeah. at you. Just can't see. As far as I want. Yep. I'm gonna come to the other side. Cut that off. I got you. I got you. Cool. I'm just gonna grab the zip cut. Watch your eyeballs. Anybody in the crowd got a set of 125 or 150 prescription glasses? You got you got a, you got twos? Just a second. Oh, that's why I picked them. It's not bad. Do you mind? Do you mind? I'm going to zip around here now. You finish cutting through here with Yeah, I finished cutting that. I guess I finished it. I'm just wondering if I can be easier. Beautiful. Beautiful. That'd be nice to watch yourself.
There's a couple braces inside. Yeah, I'm gonna climb in there and you can hand that okay. and I'll cut the braces. Yeah, sure. Okay. Uh, what does that say now? When... You're close coming through. You're Good. close to them. You almost had them. Um, what does that say now? If, if... I think we can put one of them on there. Maybe on the top or the bottom of that right there. Yeah. And then that can stay where it's at. Then we can, we got all kinds of light. Oh, yeah, yeah. Just right. on the straight flat. Yeah. yeah. Sure. So we cut it. Cut them both the same. Yep. Yeah, top or bottom of that hole yep. there, whatever you'd like. There's two braces on the inside. We're cutting them off. Yeah. Pull the roof off. So, I've got a couple little places that, yeah, cool. So, are we, how, how many places do you see that need to come off? Uh, are they all off or? This corner here? Okay. Off on that side? We're getting close. Is it off on this side? Where? So like Kenny, is there a light there? No. Probably. I think uh, I think the inside here. Oh a little tab right there. See it. You see it right there? Right. Right. Oh in there. Right there. Yeah, with the saws off? No, I'd rather i I'd rather see you go inside and cut the zip cut if you like, or I will. Okay. Yep. Sure. That into Can I step on the running board? Yeah, absolutely. Well, climb into your cage. <laughs> yeah. Let me grab you on a light. Um, I don't think I need one. Want to lift up on it? See if that's it. I'm not worried about that now. Nope. Second. Got it. There it is. Yeah. Coming out of the monkey bars. Yeah. So is it? Uh, we need. So Kenny, you want to go on the front? We're gonna we're gonna walk. You want to go on the front? We'll walk forward with it. Yeah. Yeah. And then back up over there. Yes, now it's just a matter of cutting off these pieces and the reason we left these here because they're connected to the car if I let if I cut that off there and left it on the roof then I'd have to struggle with the roof to get it cut off so we might as well leave them up there just makes it a little bit easier so basically I'm just going to start cutting these pieces off Zip cut? I'm gonna use a zip cut. Yeah. Just to make a nicer cut. Yeah. And I suggest when you're cutting the roof off, don't have the owner around. <laughs> it helps in case there's a mistake. And uh, just just a boo-boo.
I'm going to cut this. Uh, there might be some sparks going forward there, I think. Should be fine. Get that after. I'm going to shoot sparks that way. Sorry. All right. All right. All right. All right. That's sick. I gotta, I gotta see what's going on here. Maybe. Mm -hmm. I just go like this. Watch yourself. I'm gonna cut towards me. Watch yourself. We'll have to tack that back together. Yes. And it's just to dismiss the spot well, that's all. I'm going to start with the zip cut and then I'll do the saws off. Okay. So I'm going to go through sparks this way. More off the center, we may have to take some off the back to get it down a little bit further. Not bad. It's not bad. No, but this we'll have to shoot. Yeah. So when we put the roof back on, there's probably gonna if we put the roof back on, we'll probably end up sliding the zip cut through it a couple times to make it even it up a little bit because the, the cuts aren't perfectly straight. I know that's hard to believe, but Just unplug that, it's all. Um, tape. I, I, yeah, I do, I, actually. I just want to check this out for a second. See, it's a little bit longer, but that's fine. Mm. confusion 
much taking this off for less confusion. Yes. I might get it up and saw that off. I've, I've done that cut on one side of the line and not the other and you forget. Yeah, yeah I've done that. Especially when you got everybody watching. <laughs> yeah, we want to make this as best as possible. Absolutely. Yeah. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna pull sparks this way. I generally don't like looking at the grinder, but I really want to see where I'm cutting, so I'm taking that, you know, taking that risk. There you go. Thank you. Fall inside or fall outside? What's that? What do you need? I no, was just looking for that hinge there. Now we're going to cut the post off. And the reason we're going to cut the post off because we're going to put the post in later because we know that the roof, uh, the roof will fit there right now. No, the roof will not fit there right now. But when we put the roof back on, the post would not line up with the roof because we're coming down, which would make this part shorter. So it would be back here, about here somewhere. But I'm going to cut this post off, and we'll put it back in after. I definitely want to stay above the dash line. Yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah. You want a new dash in this bad boy? Can I shut open the door? It's a convertible. Yeah, we'll just, I'll just go along right along this bad boy, stay above that. Yeah. Just cut right along there somewhere. Cool. So I'm going to start with a zip cut. Okay. Or no, I'm going to start with a sawzall. I think it'll be easier to get in there. There you go. So, uh, the suggestion was to stay above the dash. Stop it. Stop it. Also, when you're cutting a roof off, don't throw nothing away. Absolutely nothing. So after I cut this one off, uh, we'll probably just set the roof back on and see what happens. set it on yeah we can use the clamp but we'll just set it on I guess we have to set it on to check it out yeah yeah I just don't want it yeah. to uh, take off if we walk away right? this, this should, we should we just want to make square this up so we gotta for now we're just gonna hang the back of the roof over we're just gonna we're, we're just gonna slide it right inside okay um, I might want to take some burrs off this maybe help us get it in there yep. not sure we have a uh, flapper wheel we do awesome Pull that out a bit so I can move it. 
what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a flapper wheel, knock the, the metal off on the inside of there. The back of this roof, where we did not chew it off, is going to slide down inside this so we can get a perfect fit on that. I don't feel like that's necessary to cut that off. Can if you want to, but what would happen is you'd want to get it in place. If you wanted to trim that off, you would come along and mark that after and then cut that off. But you would also want to remember that where you mark it, you would need it, so you would cut it off below that mark so you could butt weld that on there. Uh, you would not want to mark it off and then cut the line, then you'd be probably that much too short, if you know what I'm trying to say. All right, I'm going to use a flap. We're getting a flapper wheel put on, just going to knock a little bit of metal off that. Cool. Sorry, I think it just screws on there. Yep. All right. dust down with that bad boy, but it reminds me of the dentist. <laughs> That's basically all the paint I want to take off it. We'll take a little bit off, we'll get a line there, we'll draw a line on it, then we'll, when we set that roof on there, we'll take a marker and draw the line where it needs to be cleaned off, we'll just clean a little bit of paint off. Let's try to set it back on. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to get this back piece down inside there. Okay, so why don't you lift from the, you lift from the back, Chad, and we'll go okay. from the front. Um, do we want gloves? We got lots of gloves. Well, definitely for you guys on the back. I'll take a pair. I like this car. <laughs> nice car. Oh, you guys yeah. We'll, we'll just smooth it up a little bit, I think. You take your. You got some. I got some. Got your name right on it, oh, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Forward, you know when they're your gloves, they got your name on it. <laughs> we just bought a car recently. And the old guy put his name on the inside of the hubcaps. In case they fell off, he knew where to get them back. See that one. Nice. Okay. So basically, we'll go ahead. Yep. If somebody wants to come over, like. Oh, you're going to go all the way around? Can no, you? No, no, you're going to come forward. Okay. Watch yourself, everybody. Oh, he's going to grab it. Perfect. You want me to go in? No, it's fine, I think. No, door stay shut. Perfect. Let's put this down inside. Uh, 
All right, just one second. We're done. Cool. We just need to get back a little bit. There we go. If you, what do you think? Huh? You like that? Huh? You, you like put that? it back? You like that? I don't know. Do you, you like that? No chocolate on that back it. end? All oh, right. I just don't want to I love it. On somebody. Yeah. Now we just gotta deal with this stuff. Which one are you, which one are you gonna do? Or like, what, can well, we can we do this middle post? Clamp the middle post. Yeah. Clamp this one. Sure. And hopefully that'll go back. Yeah. We can manipulate this a little bit back here. We're gonna have to maybe, we might have to take something out or whatever, yeah, but yeah, but I'm just talking about this piece right here. Yeah. We might have to manipulate that a little bit. We have to put a zip cut in that, bang that back. Don't a little jump bit. the store. It's easier to open the door, I can put it right on the seam then. Okay. Just don't shut the door. Be careful not to shut it, yeah. Good, it came out nice. Yeah. Sweet, beautiful. Nice You're gonna have to manipulate this a little bit. You can see this Jolene right here. Sure. We're gonna have to manipulate probably this a little bit. And that's just a matter of running the zip cut up that a little bit, taking a little, relief in a little bit, and what's called shrinking it, and moving it forward a little bit. What's that? Okay. From what I understand, we have to be on stage in seven minutes. So, um, you can see, see that there? See what's going on there? That shy back? That's basically what I was worried about. But uh, we will take the posts. I like this car more and more. <laughs> And we will make it straight. So what we'll do is we'll end up leaving, taking that like that. And then I'll come along here and make a mark. We'll make a cut and we'll slide that post in so that post is still nice and straight. We only got two cuts instead of three. I'm glad I stayed up at night and thought about that. So people ask me, you know, do you think all the time? Yeah, probably. I think quite a bit about it. You know, I didn't want to make three cuts in the middle and weld it together and then make another two more welds. So I make two cuts and two welds. And it'll look a lot nicer uh, with a straight piece than trying to manipulate it and bring two pieces together. Uh, what we'll do is we'll manipulate the door top uh, to fit this post. And that will be a matter of a relief cut probably in the corner and, and get it pulled out a little bit so it fits this nice. So what I'm thinking is if if everybody wants to come in and just take a look at it, I guess. I'm not sure if Kenny will allow that or not. But don't touch the doors. Like, don't don't push on the doors or anything because we've got a clamp up in there. Uh, we've got a little bit of work we got to do here. Um, I'll show you what I'm going to do there to make that work, but I don't think it's that hard. Um, good job. No worries. Glasses. Glasses. Uh, they asked me for a mic, but there was a lady that gave me these glasses. Maybe we'll just put them on the table. I'll leave them right here. Let's do that. Alrighty, everybody, we're gonna uh, shut it down. But if Jolene wants to wheel around the, at the studio audience, these are all the people that not all the people. Um, some of the people that are interested in the chop that's going on, and um, it went it went really well. And basically, it took a little bit of just thinking about it. That's all. It was like playing chess. You think about it before you make the move, and uh, and then think again, and then think again, and then cut. Uh, all right, cool. We're going to wrap it, and we'll be back in a bit.